All right, picked up two of these uh, NXT trading card blaster boxes, 72 cards plus one exclusive relic card. Uh, in these, you don't get packs. You get like a, um, a chunk of cards, a little deck, and in the middle there's a, there's a relic card in there. But two of these boxes, um, uh, kind of a weird setup that they have going on here. Uh, it's basically three different... Uh, inserts, or excuse me, one base set and two inserts. And uh, the base set looks like this. Uh, simple design. There's about 50 of these cards. Uh, half of them are NXT called up people. And they get the parallels in there as well. There's also uh, NXT uh, Greatest Moments. A lot of it deals with Nakamura, Finn Balor, and Samoa Joe. It's pretty basic there as well. And the um, the final insert set is uh, NXT Takeover Greatest Moments. Again, a, a lot of uh, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, and Nakamura. Um, you get them of the seventy-two cards. Most of them are uh, this base set here. Then it's these, and you get like almost none of these, and it's it's fifty each. So if you buy one box, it, it actually if you excuse me, if you, I bought two boxes. If you buy two boxes, you barely finish the damn set. So, um, it's uh it's it's jumbled up pretty good there. And you get one exclusive relic card per per box. In one box, I got a uh, number twenty four out of ninety nine, Occam shirt uh yeah whatever on that the shirts i don't really care that much about and the other one i got 32 out of 99 uh, shinsuke nakamura matt relic from takeover brooklyn 2 which i actually like a lot more i am a fan of the matt relics so that i don't have an issue with uh, these are 20 dollars like most blaster boxes are i would have much rather have had um Tops add an extra ten dollars, five ten bucks onto this, and do what they did with the women's revolution blaster boxes, which you can only find at Walmart. Uh, basically, it's the same setup with the seventy-two cards plus the exclusive card can be a printing plate, an autograph, a kiss card, a medallion card, a relic, autograph versions of all of those things. Uh, it's it's a much better deal. As far as I'm concerned, because these exclusive relics, you can get autograph versions of them, but it's less likely than in the Women's Revolution versions. I remember last year I was able to get some of the Divas Revolution cards, and I bought uh, three boxes of those, I believe, and I ended up with an autograph in one of them. And the odds were much better. I forget what the odds are uh, off the top of my head, and I don't know what the odds are for this year. So, uh,. For these, you're, you're guaranteed one of these, so it's not really all that special. I would have much, I would much rather pay an extra uh, five, ten bucks <coughs> with the chance to get a kiss card or, you know, an autographed relic or something like that. Have have better odds of getting something like that. Uh, overall, if you're a fan of NXT, it's it's a, it's a fine uh, a little set. Uh, they do add, you know, people who don't have a bunch of cards already, like um, my boy Otis from Heavy Machinery and whatnot. But besides that, oh, and uh, Ruby Riot. But besides that, most of the checklist, everybody has a card already. In um, last year's Heritage or last year's base set. So uh, nothing all that brand new in this. It's it's I mean if it's just if you want to collect more wrestling stuff go for it. You're probably better off just buying the complete set on eBay and uh, doing eBay for one of these to get a wrestler that you really like. Whatever would save you a lot of time and money. So that's my advice to you.